Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. It is not the morning time. It's actually five o'clock exactly and I'm just now starting today's vlog. <laughs> Uh, I was going to vlog yesterday and then I don't know what happened I just I'm just like having so or having such a hard time like having motivation this week I think because we're so I, I said this before but like we're so close in between Thanksgiving and winter break that like I don't know it's hard to get like back in the groove because you know you're gonna be off soon like there's only three weeks in between and it's just like it's hard so there's a couple of things I wrote down a list of a couple of things I was going to share with you guys and then I'm going to clean out a couple of my drawers and I thought I could do like a really really quick desk tour just because a couple of you guys have asked for that and I really didn't know what else to film today so and this video needs to go up tomorrow because tomorrow is day four happy day four of vlogmas by the way tomorrow's day four of vlogmas that is this video and I'm not going to be filming anything tonight nor will I film tomorrow morning that's going to be uploaded for tomorrow so here we are we're living. It's Friday. Um, it was a okay day. Fridays are always like fine, good days. So um, someone said something today. They were like upset about something and I was like, whoa, you cannot be mad on a Friday. Like that is illegal. You, there's just no reason to be mad on a Friday. Um, so I made a list. The first thing I was going to show you because my last Friday vlog never went up. Um, it just yeah it just never went up so I made this new and I spent like so much time filming that but whatever um I made a new iReady wall so they I'm keeping track of how many lessons that they're passing between math and ELA so that they can keep track and they can move up through the levels so they'll move up of how many lessons they've passed total and then once they hit 100 up at the top then they move back down to the bottom and their little like square where their name is gets a little like star or something and then they get a treat so this is what I did. I don't want to go like too close, but um, it's just like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then I just move up the names. Um, so that's what I did last Friday. I was like cutting all that stuff out and whatnot. Um, yeah, that was it. And then I also wanted to share with you guys what else is on my list. Oh, I was going to show, I'm going to do like the snow globe writing next week, um, where like if you're trapped in a snow globe, like, um, I don't know what what happened <laughs> so I found some sorry I'm trying to pick up pencils off the floor I found some little like brainstorming ideas I'm gonna do I just print them so let me show you okay so I'm going to give them this paper I think first so if I looked at a snow globe um because I wanted to do it more like what would my snow globe be like rather than being like if I was trapped in a snow globe like what would happen um so I wanted it to be like if I lived in a snow globe like here's what my snow globe would be so I'm gonna have them first fill this out to kind of just get them thinking about it and then I'm gonna give them because we write we always have it set up like this where it's like topic sentence your three details and then your conclusion um so they'll understand this i think the most out of anything else because this is kind of like the way our stuff already looks um because we do like the flow map which looks like um this so yeah um anyway i'm gonna have them do this so topic sentence if i lived in a snow globe i would and then they'll fill in their topic sentence they'll come up with three details to add and they can pull them like from here basically that's kind of like what that's going to be for um and then they'll have a conclusion at the end and then we will just take this and then do it in actual like writing and that will go um on like a cute that doesn't work a cute like page and they will um I'm going to do like the plate over it and stuff and hot glue the plate, the clear plate. And then my, um, partner said she did add some salt. So I think I'm going to do that too. So that's my plan for next week because I'm not trying or I'm trying to avoid like Christmas stuff. Um, and then I asked if I could do hot chocolate next week for like, but like hot, like chocolate milk, warm chocolate milk. Um, because I want to do that whole, like I read a latte books and have them sit like by the campfire and do like reading on the last day as like our little like party kind of thing. So that's my plan for next week. And then everything else is pretty much going to be the same. Like we're still going to do our normal like literacy centers. I'm still going to do, um, my math. Like I need to do a lot in math next week because, um, 
we just like aren't really getting it and it's I mean it's fine um, we're we started on double digit subtraction with regrouping and it always is a struggle so it's not like surprising at all that it is being a struggle also my kind of my throat like right here like kind of hurts I don't know why um I feel like sore it's weird so anyway I'm going to I think that was the last thing I wanted to show oh one more thing please hold <laughs> Okay, sorry, as I was like doing that, um, I just said I was I had asked to do hot chocolate and she had, my principal had um, called me on the phone and said that it was okay to do hot chocolate. So, I got on the phone with her. Anyway, so I learned today some new features that I never knew existed on my Elmo, which is like my document camera. So I um, have an, I think it's just an Elmo. Is it even Elmo brand? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's Elmo brand, um, but it has this remote, and I saw this remote when I first got into this classroom, and I was like, what in the world would I use this for? This thing is kind of dumb, because, like, you don't use any buttons on the Elmo. Like, I use one button, and it's to switch from my computer to the camera, and my camera to the computer, and that's it. So I was always just kind of like, whatever, and I threw this in a drawer and, like, never touched it again. But one of my partners today told me that, well, one, I can click, so I'm going to show you, like, my screen. So I can click the button on my thing and it freezes the screen and then I can like move so now I can like move this which is like sitting on the laptop and show you should like prepared for this okay so I can move that and it's like staying the same and then when I, I let go now it'll go to the other one, which is so cool. And then the other thing is if I use the remote then and I click what is it? This one? It like zooms it down to the corner and then I could move this and then I could have like both. So then it's like a little, so if I want to like have two things on the screen at once and then I can like put the, something you like for writing, like the graphic organizer can be like down here and then I'm doing the writing and then like that stays the same. How stinking cool is that? Like, I'm blown away. And I'm so sad that I have not known that that was a feature. And it's funny because she said one of um, one of my kids was like in her class for a wind time. And she used that feature and she was she said that the kid was like, my teacher doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> so that's why she showed us. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. Anyway, I'm going to clean up the drawers of my desk a little bit and then I will give a little like super duper duper quick um, desk tour. So. Let's do some cleaning because it is quite a disaster. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you my desk, my desk tour. It's like nothing special. I should probably turn on the other light that I turned it off. Um, it's nothing special. Um, I like don't even, I don't even know. It's not very organized, but oh, go to turn the light on and I literally turned it off. Stupid. <laughs> I need to go home. So this is my desk area. Um, I've got three desks down, or, oh my gosh, I need to go home. I've got three drawers here, and then I've got these huge, big, long drawers, which I've said, like, in my past um, classroom tour, like, these drawers just, they're, like, a blessing and a curse, because it's so nice to, to, like, have all this space to, like, shove things in, but then you use them to shove things in, and there's no way to organize them. So, up top, I just keep literally random stuff like anything that just I need a place to kind of put something um, I kind of just throw it here because there's just no organization to it and I could probably like it's so shallow that there's not even like good organization to like be able to buy for it so I just kind of throw stuff in here and then every time you close the door everything like it, unless you close it like super carefully everything just kind of gets thrown around so that's what I keep in there and then in here I just keep extra like reams of colored paper in case I need it for something and then um that's pretty much it like most of these drawers I don't really use for anything I was actually thinking about taking this home and using it for earrings 
I'm going to put that here because I don't use that for that. Um, and then this drawer, I just use it to keep like copies of things that are like made in advance. So like these are like math fact tests that I have like a couple ready for the next couple weeks. So I'm writing paper just in case I need it. And then um, I, we use these every week. So I just print like a bunch at one time. Somebody's calling me. Please hold. Okay, so, like, as I was saying, um, so these are just, like, pre-made or, like, copied, um, like, morning work, stuff like that, and then those are just, like, extra things, and then I keep, um, literally nothing in this drawer. Those are, like, for an art project I never did, but I figured I'd keep it. It's, like, President's Day project, and I just kept it for next year, um, and then those things I just got in my really good stuff box, and then this drawer is a little scary, um, yeah, it's just, like, extra, like, decor stuff, and, like, yeah yep that's about it <laughs> and then up here this is like the actual like desk stuff so I keep my um just like necessities here I have all my binder clips I have this little organizer I got in one of my boxes I don't remember which box that was from um pamper teacher no teacher trove teacher trove I keep my super small stickies in there and then I keep my bigger stickies in here and then I just keep like push pins and stuff back there bigger binder clips paper clips and then erasers and then I keep my highlighters um just like random stuff these little clips that I don't even know why I have them uh, wide out my what are those called staple removers and then this is just like I used to keep student um like um student work in there and i'd pass it back really quickly but i don't really do that anymore so i just throw like random stuff in those little things that's about it and then on my desk i keep my pens in here so these are my flare pens sharpies and then pens and pencils and then i just keep like stuff over here so it just stays like off of this area of my desk this area like becomes such a junk collector and then i've got this little um um jar that a student made me and I keep like all the pencils that I like grab like often in here um like just like pretty ones that I have and then I have a pen that I always grab my one of my ink joy pens and then these little pencils which I just thought were really cute and then a pair of scissors because I always grab for scissors and then I've got tissue just in case I've got my stapler which normally my tape is right here too but um I have it somewhere else right now and then I've got this I just put this here today which is what I got in that really good stuff box which by the way it was sticky notes but I kind of like them I like how big they are because sometimes sticky notes just aren't big enough um, and then I just keep like pictures up here of basically me and my teammates because we're obsessed with each other <laughs> and then I have my computer and that's pretty much it so I don't have like too much oh and then this is just like a junk collector I keep all my stickers for like my planner in here um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, and then down here, I just have like more random stuff. Um, the top drawer I don't think has anything. The second drawer, I'm pretty sure it's just like body stuff if I ever need it, lotion, deodorant if I forget, um, like stain remover, stuff like that. I think I have like powder back there for my face if I need it. And then, um, I keep all these in here, these like tags. And then this is just like plastic baggies and stuff that I keep in there. And over here is quite a mess. This is just like a regular desk, um, but my desk itself isn't big enough to be able to like put my Elmo on. So I just keep this right here and I just keep all of my like data binders in there. And then just any like books, like workbooks, like if I have a student or I have workbooks that I, the kids have, like I keep a copy in here for myself kind of thing so I can just grab it easily. Um, but yeah, basically this is all just like binders. Um, with like data in them and then I keep my backpack down there and that is it and then I have this at the end of my table which is just my little cart that just is a junk collector I feel like everything in my life is basically just junk collector up here is just cabinets um honestly there's like nothing really exciting in them um I guess I could show you <laughs> this one is just like like nothing basically um yeah <laughs> um and here is just like books that I've gotten from school and stuff I just want to keep right here. I keep like my candy and stuff right here that I can grab easy. Um, pencils that we use for special things. These are my student birthday gifts this year that I put together every time there's a birthday. And um, 
yeah there's just like random stuff in that basket and then up here there's like nothing in this one um it's just like stacks of like papers like old old dras i keep in there um my two binders which i was really good about keeping like all my stuff from the year like all master copies of things and i have not been good this year but um and then this is a picture frame that i used for thanksgiving and laminating pouches and then popcorn for popcorn day and that is all so and that is my desk and then i oh i guess i should say i keep my i keep doing that i'm like that's it and oh just kidding there's one more that's my copies for the week that i keep in those drawers um and that is actually it so i hope you enjoyed that i'm actually gonna head home um sorry this vlog is probably normal time but it's all been filmed within like 20 no 40 minutes it's 5 40 right now so i'm gonna head home on a friday night and figure out what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> I have no I have no plans this weekend. Actually, that's a lie. My brother's actually moving. Um, I found out the other day, and I don't think I've vlogged since then. Um, but my brother's actually moving to Florida, which is crazy. Like we live in California, uh, and he is moving to Florida for a job. He actually went to lineman school, um, like over back in the beginning of like last. No, wait, when? beginning of this year oh my gosh i don't even know what time of the year it is i feel like beginning of this year he went to lineman school and he just hasn't found a job yet um so he was looking for jobs and he actually got a job in florida so he'll be moving out there um pretty like i think only an hour or so outside of miami so i'm excited because i want to be able to go like visit him i'm sad to see him go because um that's my only sibling that i have besides skylar's sisters but those aren't like my siblings so that's the only sibling i have but um, super exciting for him. So I've never made the venture to go live somewhere else. <laughs> so he's brave. Um, but anyway, um, I think tomorrow my family, like me, my mom and my dad and my brother are going to get together and like grab lunch or something. So he's leaving like later this month, um, after Christmas. So I'm going to go cause that's the only plan I have this weekend. That's what I was trying to say. I'm, I need to go home. I just really do. So I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. If you liked this video, sorry it wasn't super exciting, but you can give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're enjoying Vlogmas, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. And hasta la vista. No, what does hasta la vista mean? Hasta la vista. That's like goodbye. No, so farewell, so long. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Hasta la vista. Magazine. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Bye. Oh, it does mean bye. What the heck? I like second guessed myself. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to quickly show you my outfit before I like move any further. Um, I am wearing this sweater, which I've worn a few times in videos. It's so comfortable and I love the color of it. It's like a dusty, like mauve color. And then I have my Friday shirt on because it's Friday. And then I just wore these earrings from Walmart. I have my hair the same as it looks every day, which if you want to see how I curl my hair, watch my get ready with me because I filmed it in that video. And then I have on these jeans, which I actually don't wear these jeans very often because they don't fit me really. They're like two sizes too big i someone gave them to me um but i love the color of them and i love like the fit of them i just wish they like fit me but um they're lucky brand and they're like straight legged jeans and i don't know they just like fit super super nicely um but i have them on i just like cuff them i like because they're like not skinny at the bottom um they're just like straight leg if that makes sense and then i have them on with these shoes which i recently got at target i just think they're so cute like they're so different and they're so cute so that's my outfit for today